We're going to begin with what officials are calling a human smuggling operation gone terribly wrong. At least four people are dead and dozens injured after a boat capsized off the coast of San Diego. It happened yesterday morning. Rescuers acted quickly to save some of the passengers from drowning. Officials have not yet revealed the origin of the boat or the nationalities of those involved in the accident. But Laura Podesta is here with the latest on it. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Emory. As you mentioned, the victims' nationalities have not yet been released by officials, but the M Mexican Consul General's Office in San Diego has released a statement already saying it was in touch with authorities to assist any victims of Mexican descent and their families. Lifeguards who responded to this tragedy said that there was a, a breadth of injuries, including hypothermia. The water was estimated to be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. A boat carrying more than two dozen people capsized near San Diego on Sunday. Everyone was panicking, everyone was yelling. Kale Foy is a member of the Navy, but he was off duty, spending the day with his family when he saw people in the water. I gave everything to my wife and said, I'll see you here in a little bit, and just jumped in the water. Foy and another man who's training for the Navy SEALs helped survivors get to pieces of floating debris before lifeguards, the U.S. Coast Guard, and other agencies arrived. We trained for the worst and expect for the best. And today was, was not the best, but it's something that I always had in the back of my mind. It just actually happened. Lieutenant Rick Romero believes the 40-foot wooden boat was broken up by the waves. In my 28 years of working, I've never seen anything like this or been on a call of this uh, magnitude. And I saw people just getting sucked out, flo uh, floating out. Some of them were face down and then a whole bunch of people down below along the base of the cliff there. Federal officials suspect it was a human smuggling operation. Agents are interviewing the survivors, including the boat's captain. They don't care about the people they're exploiting. All they care about is, is profit. Uh, to them, these people are just commodities. So uh, and you can see that in the way they, they treat them. Border Patrol said last week it would be ramping up operations in the area this weekend to stop maritime smuggling. And Border Patrol said in a statement that as warmer weather comes to San Diego, there is a misconception that these border crossings will be safer and easier. But clearly, Anne-Marie, that is not the case. It certainly isn't. Um, so what is the latest here? What's the Coast Guard doing? Are they still searching for people? So right now they believe that all of the victims have been accounted for. This did happen at 10 a.m. Pacific time yesterday, so they were able to get most people to the hospital. There are still officials on scene combing through the water, obviously combing through the debris that you saw in that video, and they will be remaining on scene for most of the day in Marine. And officials are also saying that the suspected smuggler is in custody. I presume they mean the captain of the boat. Is there any more information about who this person is? We do not know who he or she is as far as age or nationality, but as you heard in that story and from the quotes, these smugglers really treat these migrants as commodities. So they pack these boats and that's why the situation is so dire and why we keep seeing these sorts of accidents happen again and again because these vessels are just not safe. So I'm sure that these authorities are going to be questioning the smuggler, finding out if that person has done this trip before, um, if perhaps there's a trail that they can trace back to Mexico or some other country and stop these sorts of incidents from happening in the future again. Mm-hmm. Laura, thank you.